worries, what guys worry. Isn't this the police's job? Yeah, but the police aren't doing anything. So much. Stop please, talking over me. First of all, I was a crucial. Guys, please don't make me mute everyone. Who put you in charge, Natasha? Mm -hmm. I'm and we're not going to find him. Right, so who else has anything to report? My theory is it's some sort of expendable handcuffing device. It's a scrunchie. It's for hair. Then I might be able to identify the owner by the scent of their shampoo. Well, it's not Mrs. Roth's. She uses Tresemme. Okay, there's a lot to unpack there. Thank you, Theo. Um, Poppy, you had something to share. Wait, remind me what this is about? Ryan. He's missing. Presumed dead. No, he's not. Don't say that. The dead part, I mean. Oh, well, I saw a Bigfoot trying to break into the school on Saturday night. It was smaller than other Bigfoots, but that might have been because it was far away. Aren't you going to write that on the board? But Ryan disappeared on Friday. Why were Bigfoot or anyone be trying to break back into the school on Saturday. To destroy evidence? We're all just ignoring that Poppy's nuts, right? Elizabeth, you had detention after school on Friday for leaving fish fingers behind the radiators in the staff room. That means you were one of the last people in the building with Brian. Okay, first of all, the only way you would know that is if you were the one who snitched on me. So we're going to have words about that on Monday. Second of all, what's your point? That you might have seen something. What do you remember from that night? Nothing. Did you see Ryan? I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't paying attention. What were you doing? None of your business. She was drawing. What? I had attention too. She was drawing a picture of Tasha. Okay, so uh, that's not completely relevant. Okay, but I'm actually pretty observant, you know. So Elizabeth likes Tasha, which is why she's acting so weird. Taya got full marks in the last Spanish test, which means she cares about stuff. Matilda fakes her step count by putting their Fitbit on her dog. These two voted against non-uniform days in the last school Wait a second. Meeting. I'll get to you in a second, Mr. I smell teacher's hair. No, look, the scrunchie. It's Maria's. Wait, really? I'm sorry. I must have dropped it this morning when I was taking notes for my diorama. A dietary issue. You should cut down on fibre. Diorama. It's a scale model of the crime scene. Then why are you acting all shifty? Because I didn't want you to make fun of me. Okay, so this is the classroom and this is where Ryan sits. Now we know that Elizabeth and Olivia are in detention with Mr Green. Here, here and here. Who's that by the door? And you forgot Bigfoot. That's Scarlet. We were supposed to go to the library after school, but she left something in the classroom and had to go back. Wait. Where is Scarlet? What? She's not on the call. She was here earlier. Someone call her. What if she saw something? She wouldn't just disappear. No answer. What if whoever took Ryan got her too? We should call the police. She doesn't live too far from me. I'll run over. Check her social media. If she's been posting anti-government stuff, then MI5 might have gotten to her. Not this again. She might have a point. Look. <gasps> the Bigfoot. And look, here in the background. <gasps> oh, oh, Ryan. Ryan. I have some information you might find interesting. Does anyone see my rhino? Hey, stop that! So... <clears throat> the weekend's events behind us, students of 10B expressed their gratitude for the return of their beloved mascot, 
Ryan the Rhino. Ryan suffered extensive injuries, but is expected to make a full recovery. The culprit, who is now serving two weeks in detention, confessed after an investigation by the newly formed Detective Club. In related news, Deputy Sergeant Persham will be visiting this week to hold an assembly on the consequences of wasting police time.